A sad and tragic event tinged with an element of bravado. That's how the state coroner has described the Tanjong Paga car crash during Chinese New Year last year that led to five men losing their lives. The driver, Jonathan Long, was found to have been drinking, drink driving. He was also speeding at nearly three and a half times over the limit. Michelle Cho with this report. Delivering his findings in an inquiry on the men's deaths, State Coroner Adam Nakoda ruled out foul play, instead pointing to the cause of death as a traffic-related misadventure. He added that this case serves to remind other motorists not to operate vehicles whilst under the influence of alcohol. Now, prior to the incident, the five had gathered at a house in Ang Mo Kyo where they consumed alcohol. They continued their revelry at their friend's restaurant, consuming another four to five bottles of soju. At about 5 a.m., the group was smoking and chatting about the new car that Jonathan Long had just purchased. Eyewitnesses say the car's engine was very loud and that someone in the group had come up with the idea of driving the car. Long did not discourage others from driving the car and wanted to see who could drive the fastest. Friends took turns to drive a total of four rounds from the restaurant towards Keppel before making a U-turn at Engel Street and then making a second U-turn at Murray Street towards the restaurant. All four who drove the car were speeding above the limit of 50 kilometers per hour, the fastest at between 125 to 181 kilometers per hour. State Coroner Nakoda said that there was clearly excitement from the four passengers who had entered the car in its final round and that the driver did not cajole others to do so. On the final round, Long clocked a speed of up to 182 kilometers per hour before applying the brakes when he lost control. But it was too late. The car travelled sideways and continued to turn anti-clockwise until it mounted a curb. It rear-ended into a pillar of a shop house and burst into flames shortly after. Autopsy reports found that some of the passengers were barely alive before the fire started. The car was also fitted with a charge pipe that could withstand more heat, but that was deemed immaterial to the cause of the fire. Long's father was the only family member amongst the five deceased men to be present at the hearing. Speaking to reporters after, he shared that this conclusion has given his family closure. He added that no contact with family members of the other deceased was made as he was unsure if it was appropriate to do so during the trial. In the meantime, Long's father said that his priority is to help his family move on and focus on the full recovery of Raby O, Long's girlfriend who had rushed into the fire to save his son.